You say they'll just come right up and lay on the bottom, huh? Yeah, they lay right on the bottom. And then when the tide slacks off, they'll swim around on the surface. Right now it's not running real hard, so they're probably swimming. You think that's a cobia? Yeah. <laughs> well, feel head shaking? Of course. Yeah, it does feel like a cob shaking. Good to see his head is probably a cobia. Of course he hit the little rod. <laughs> it's all right, I think I can get him on this one. He's gonna get our little marker over there, but that's all right. Well, welcome to this episode of Addicted Fishing. We're down off a of marathon in the Florida Keys, and we're catching, oh, he's in the anchor. We're gonna see what happens here. Uh-oh. That's, he said, oh, oh, oh. He was. He was. Come on. Oh. Oh. Why the little rod? <laughs> he's around it. I'm gonna get up front. He's around that yeah. Sprite bottle. How much uh, pound test you got on that Sprite bottle out there? It's only 20 pound mono. Oh, okay. That's a cut right through it. There's answer. just a little weight, so it'll just drag along the bottom. This feels like a good cove. This feels like a real good lately. cove. 30 pounders, 40 pounders. <laughs> a 30, 40 pound cove. Well, happy birthday, Dad. This one comes aboard. You get another one. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on, baby. Oh, let me get off this Sprite bottle and I'll tell you where we're at. Ugh. Come on, baby. Uh-oh. BJ, help please. He's off. The jig's right here. Oh, man. Well, I guess that's how it goes. Well, welcome to this episode of Addict to Fishing. We're off Marathon Key in the beautiful Florida Keys. We're fishing with Captain B.J. Meyer. It's springtime is just, I mean, within a couple of weeks away. So we're gonna show you what you can do back here in Florida Bay, right off of Marathon Key in the Florida Keys. Y'all stay tuned to this episode of Addictive Fishing. We'll be right back. You know, B.J., I heard a story here last night that when you were nine months old, you spent like all day long hanging off a dock, sitting there trying to catch minnows. <laughs> It casts good with the power pro on it. Yeah, it does. Big Kobe is up here daisy chaining. Check big him out. Big Kobe is right 30 front. pounds. Right up front. Oh, the first Lordy. fish Look is the him. biggest one. The lead one is a monster. Here we go. The lead. Try to catch the lead fish. Try not to let the other ones eat it. That's a fat daddy right there. Here he goes. Oh, man, I don't know what's up, dude. OK, hey, settle on down. The floor. Settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down. Settle down. They're staying around. <laughs> I'm shaking like a <laughs> like a leaf. Where'd he go? There they are, Blair. About 40 feet in the middle of the white spot. Yeah. Uh, right there? Yeah, right there. Fish on. All right, he's hooked that time. Got him on a good one. I don't think it's what we're looking for. It is, though. it is. The big one. There's another big one right there. Well, oh, it's a nice one. Get him, BJ. That is a nice cobia. There's two more fish with them. I'll hang this guy close. We'll see what happens. Come on. Right up here. Come on, guys. There he is, right behind you. Oh, man, look at this. Oh, they're oh. coming after it, dude. There you go, there you go. He's coming, he's coming. Oh, he missed it. There Got you him go. <laughs> Look at the size of the other one behind him. He's even bigger than that yeah. one, dude. Wow. Yeah, the other one's about a 35-pounder. That's nice. Well, we'll take these two. And there's still about five more that went over the other <laughs> way. <laughs> nice cobias. Nice cobias, brother. You know, springtime, marathon, cobia. Hey, book BJ Meyer. We've been here five minutes throughout a couple of baits, and. Man, well, I'm gonna get this guy on board. We'll let this guy go. There's the biggest one yeah, right we'll there. Yeah, we'll let this guy go and get the big one. You wanna do that? Yeah, that sounds good. I'll keep this one in the water. That one hopefully will stay there. That is a real big one. That's a giant down there. I'm gonna get down. This is gonna be fun, huh? Okay, come back over to me. I'll get him from behind. Uh, 
Is the other one sticking around? He was. I don't think he went anywhere. Man, these are nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah, that one's a good one, too. That one's legal. Pretty simple, folks. I tell you what, right here off of Marathon Key, and it's, uh, I just saw a weather report this morning as we were getting ready to come out, and it was snowing up north. As you can tell, it ain't snowing here, brother. But the cobia are here. All right, come here, cobia. One thing about a cubby is when they, you think they're just about done, and the next thing you know, they go crazy. You need some help with that, Blair? Uh, I think I can get him, man. All right. Fight that fish. So we're gonna see what we can at least show this guy to you. Come on. Up here, up here. Easy, 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 easy. See what I mean? They just go and go and go. Come on, let's get this hook out. We want your brother. Ah, uh, slack. I to hook myself in the head. How you doing out there, BJ? Good, good, he's still here. All right, well, I'm gonna show this guy off. Oh, maybe. Get out of here. We'll show you the big one. He got back over there with the turtle. Let's see what happens in the Florida Keys. <laughs> BJ, I don't see that uh, those other cubby up right now. Let's go ahead and land that one and put him in the box, so. My dad don't scream at me for not landing one. <laughs> Sounds good. It's a nice fish. Cause he loves Kobe it's about as much as I love Kobe. Get him in the back back here. All right, let me get the device to throw him in the fish box. Let me show you this guy. Look at that Kobe. Nice Kobe. Jigs out. Jigs right, out. Let me get this guy like this. Hold that. Now there is your marathon cobia. Nice cobia. <laughs> off, of, off of a double. We let the little guy go. This guy's gonna, let's invite him to dinner tonight. You think we can cook him up at uh, Barracudas tonight? Yeah, definitely. Sound like a winner. Good That'll job. Good. Awesome spot. Captain Barry Meyer, right off Marathon of the Florida Keys. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing. What kind of mackerel you got this far up? I was off Key West one time, we were catching zeros. We get zero Spanish. The big kings come in here too. Kingfish, now that's something I'm gonna be doing this year. I don't know if you heard about it or not, but the new FLW tournament series, yeah. they're actually starting a kingfish tournament trail. Y'all check it out on the website. You can go right there and register. $1.7 million total purse. It's, it's gonna be a killer tournament. That's why I got this big well craft now, because I'm gonna be fishing that. Let's see if he pops back up here. No. There he is. is. Right here, right here. The big one's just there. That's the big one. Let's see which one got it. Oh, uh, little one got you. That ain't a little one. It ain't little, but. BJ, BJ, right here. There's one underneath us. Underneath us. Right here. Right here. So you got it? Oh, you got him. <laughs> oh, that's how you want to hit him, huh? You don't want to straighten them hooks out. <laughs> That's a big cove. Here, let's trade. Doing the what, the, the cobia two-step shuffle up here. That's a nice cobia there. Yeah, that's a big cove. That's a 30 pounder. Now the now the size limit on cobia is what? It's 33 inches and you can only keep one per person or up to six per boat. Yeah. Whichever's less, we we'll go over you. That's a nice fish you got. Yeah, God, that's a nice one. That's all right. Feisty little devils, aren't they? How you doing back there, BJ? Good, good, he's up on the surface. I right, tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and land this guy, throw him in the box. Yeah, it's right by his feet. Your dad requested one himself, and I'm sure my dad sees this show, he's gonna say, where's my Korea? <laughs> Cause he loves these guys. So, get it ready. Uh, all right, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold that, please. Ah, two fists in it. Hurry up, Mike's coming towards me. Jigs out, fish in the box. How about that? Good job. He's just staying deep. Well, they don't get big being dumb. <laughs> wow, these are nice cobia. 
strong fish. All muscle. Yeah, they'll, they'll, what a cubby will pull you as hard as you pull it a lot of times until they get in the box. This guy's putting up a fight. That's a nice fish, man. With all the banks out here, the fish just keep moving through and hanging on these spots throughout the day. Like, really? there's three big fish worm here when we got here, and they just, they come in on the surface. That like one that. actually looks pretty, a little bit bigger than the biggest one we saw. Yeah. What do you think he is, 40? Probably 40. 40, brother. On we'll 20 pound I'm power pro. He sure is like in the back of this boat. He must like getting a look, look at them new e -techs. Hey, did those things get us out of here pretty quick or what? Those are about the fastest motors, fastest boat I've been on. And this thing's 35, 35 foot. Oh man, look at the size of this cub. Anyway, the cobia, it was about this size and when we gaffed him, my dad didn't know about green cobia. And this cobia was right next to the boat and he was just holding him there and he stayed green. But that's Woo! a nice one. That's a big one. How about that, brother? That's a big cub. That is a nice cub. Hold on a second. Let me get this gaff out and show him. Okay, grab that pointy end, please. Look at that jig head. That old laser sharp eagle claw stayed right in the side of that head. Perfect. And there you go. That's a cobia. If I can find that picture, we'll flash it up of me and my dad, but I was a lot younger. Hair white from surfing, about like yours is now. About your age. Nice cobia. Y'all stay coffee. tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing. What are we gonna do next? We use a bigger filter and then the jacks won't be able to eat it down. All right. There's some good sized mackerel out there too. Penfish, it's grouper candy. There it is, right there. Look at that. Just a little piece of bottom. Well, welcome back. You probably can't tell from looking at the water. It's a little bit dirtier, but we have changed spots. We're gonna see what happens. It's another spot out here that BJ fishes quite often. There's a ton of spots out here. Came over with the Ray Marine, saw the bottom. It was loaded up with fish. There he is. Fish on, brother. Get him out of that mud? Yep. Oh, I think it's Mr. Grouper. Could be Mr. Stingray, too. There he goes. Coming he got up. got you around the anchor? I don't know what he's, no, he's not around the anchor. He went into a hole or something. It's probably a grouper. If it's a grouper, it's a nice one. I'd like to have a grouper. Have a group of sandwich too. <laughs> Anything following? Uh, no. Yeah, it is oh, a, a nice grouper. Nice red. grouper. A red? Yeah. I wonder if that's a pile in front of them. They're pretty. You know, red grouper. Gray grouper. Or what? Gray and a gag the same or what? Yeah. Yeah. They, some people call them gray grouper. Some people call them gag grouper. Here, let me grab this guy if I could. Show you why they call them red grouper. They got a red tint to them. And their mouth is a beautiful orange in color. Look at that, a DOA cow jig head. There's your red grouper. See the mouth? Isn't that beautiful inside there? Red grouper. What do you think? What's keeper size on them guys? 20 inches. It's about 17 or 18. He's a nice one. We'll let him go. Y'all can come back book next month. Well, let me take a minute and I'm gonna show you what we're using here today. Captain BJ broke the Calusa cast nut out a little earlier and went and caught a bunch of pilchards. That's basically what we've been using today, these guys and some pinfish also. How I'm rigging them up, I got a little three quarter ounce DOA, it's a big, one of the biggest cow jig heads that they make. And all we're doing is taking the uh, pilchards, hooking them kind of deep, throwing them over the wreck and just bouncing them on the bottom. 40 to 60 pound fluorocarbon leader, I always like using the fluorocarbon. I've always said, even at my seminars, um, if using fluorocarbon brings me one or two more bites during the day, it's, it's definitely done its job. So always fluorocarbon also too, is just the abrasion resistance of it's really good. Using a uni to uni knot, using 60 pound test power pro and uh, medium action 14 to 35 pound test rod. 
and we're catching a grouper. There's your bait check for today. Y'all can come down here and book Captain BJ and catch you a bunch of fish. What you got there? It feels like a grouper. Might be a cobe. Yeah, I think it's a cobe. <laughs> what were you just saying? A cubby might be coming up? They like the slack tide. Okay. Oh, God. Sorry about that. Whack. They're whacking him in the head. <laughs> Well, looks like you might have yourself a grown one there, BJ. Feels like a good one. Damn, be careful. You want me to get these in? They're fine now. Uh-huh. They're not in the way right now. Yep, cobia. Little cob. Little guy. He's a little guy. It's been a Kobe a day, that's for sure. Let's get him up here. I'll show this one off too. Before we let him go. Oh, they like to go nuts right at the boat, don't they? Uh, come on in, dude. I'm gonna invite you in here for a second, then we'll let you go. The frisky. That'll work. <laughs> Hook popped right out. Nice. <laughs> Come here, dude. Nice little cobia. We're gonna let this guy go. So anybody wants to come book BJ here, come catch you a cobia. Oh, get out of here, dude. And off to fight another day. Captain BJ, let me tell you, this has been an awesome day. Right off a of marathon, Florida Keys. If y'all ever wanna do this, come catch Gag Grouper. It's, it's been a cobia day today, right beginning of springtime, and the cobia are gonna run for how long? All through the summer? For no, no, about another month and a half, two months. They'll cool. be showing up on the ocean side now for the next month. Great. And they'll start leaving, the big tarpon will come in. So, right in the springtime, right before the tarpon show up here in the Keys? See Stuff jumping all around the boat, yeah. man. There's, there's life everywhere down here. Hey, y'all want to come do this? Right to the website, y'all can book him. Captain B.J. Meyer, right out of Marathon, the Florida Keys. Till next week, the website, addictedfishing.com.